You know, here at Life Church, we're all about one thing, and that's a relationship with Christ. But we often know that it's our worship that draws us close and connects us to God. And today's stories have a unique spin on how our worship is making a difference both inside the church and around the world. Coming up, we get an inside look at the latest song from Life Church Worship called Even Now and get a taste of the heart behind it as we go behind the music. Then we sit down with Grammy-nominated and award-winning musical artist Tori Kelly to hear how the Bible and the Bible app have shaped who she is in the latest edition of The Conversation. Even Now is a song that was basically birthed out of something that our our senior pastor's wife, Pastor Amy, she uh, was working on uh, a sermon and basically everything that this song is is because of what she wrote down um, from the the struggle that was going on in their family and that initially was like the the first part of um, that song that we really started to grab a hold of was just the struggle but the but the faith that it takes to go through hard times in life and we can all relate to that I took myself back to times in my life when I just really needed hope and thinking about different individuals stories in our church that I know about helps me to figure out what do I want people to hear? What do I want them to be able to cling to? What do we really find hope in? And that's Jesus. And the lyric, even now, like even now, was there something, honestly, whenever I was just sitting around and playing one day, that phrase just naturally came out. And I remember when we, were, we started to actually write this song, that was the one lyric that we all came back around, it was just even now. Even now, right where I'm at, not God if you will. It, it's, it's, it's kind of messy. It's like right where I am, right with what I'm dealing with, I'm going to worship you and I'm going to praise you through it because I know that you are true and that you are my hope. With your Scripture tells us to, to sing a new song. And so we try our best to embody that, to um, bring about songs that come out of our church, out of our heart, not anyone else's. Um, God is doing amazing things everywhere, but we love seeing what God is doing right here in our house. I see the clouds, I see Tori, thank you so much for taking some time today to hang out with us. Yeah, I'm excited. Of I've been a fan of yours for a while now. Thank and you. I've been following you for quite some time through your musical career and also just getting to know you as a Christ follower and just mm -hmm. how you live out your faith. We know you so much for your music and your musical career. Yeah. What is something to you that stands out as like a really memorable moment for you uh, just throughout your career? There's a few. Um, geez. In 2015, when I put out my very first album, I always go back to that moment because I think as a kid, my dream wasn't necessarily to be like a big star or like be famous. It was literally just to put out music and perform on stage. That was a huge moment for me. I, I felt like a little kid again. And, sure. um, that I think is 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 a big one for me, but I also think of stuff like getting to do this movie, this animated movie, Sing. That was, I would have never thought that would happen. And it was just the perfect role. It was, everything about it was perfect. And it was, um, it was a dream come true. We know that you love Jesus. I do. Uh, you've grown <laughs> up in the church, you said. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. How does your faith shape who you are and what you do? My faith is everything to me. Um, I did grow up in the church, but I think maybe like some other people um, who grew up in the church, you kind of get to a point where your faith really becomes your own. And it's not about what your parents say or what they believe, but it's really like, oh no, this is real to me. I've experienced the presence of God. And like, I know that this is uh, my own faith. It's a daily thing. What does that look like for you? What is that daily spiritual discipline look like for you? Just spending time 
in my word every single day. And um, even, even more than that, actually praying. I think both of those things coupled together, because I, I used to be, you know, just, okay, I gotta wake up and I gotta read. And I would just read and then like go about my day, which I, which I think is fine, but um, I think we have to be intentional about just sitting down with God. And He loves that, like He wants to spend time with us. And He's just waiting for that. It's so crazy, because once I, when I finally grasp that, it's like, that's, that's the best thing ever. How has the Bible app maybe enhanced or changed how you read scripture? It's changed it a lot, actually. There's been a lot of times where I'm uh, just on the go. I have to, you know, wake up, get out of the house, really scrambled, and I can be in the car on my way to wherever, you know, doing a radio interview or whatever. I have these little pockets of time in the car sometimes, and um, it's perfect just to open up the app and start reading. And I think another thing I really love about the app is that so many people around the world are using it. And I think it's just blessed so many people. I hear people talking about it all the time. And it's just like your Bible in your pocket. So I would wanna say thank you to you and to Life Church and uh, everybody who's involved just for making it happen because it, it really is life changing. I know as I look on and just seeing you and your career and your life, I love your music, but what I love more than anything is your heart and how you live out your faith. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Life Church, thank you so much for your commitment to lead people to become fully devoted followers of Christ. It's how you give, how you serve, and how you pray that God is using you to make a difference both in our local communities and around the world.